Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. First thing I'm gonna mention is I look different because I have contact lenses in my eyes. I posted a few pictures of a makeup look that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do today over on my Instagram and I had so many questions about the contact lenses I was wearing and they are actually called Delicious Honey and they're by a brand called Desio or Desio. They look like this in the packaging but the one thing that I'm really annoyed about is that I didn't read it properly and when I ordered my pack, they came and I was like, why have I got so many in here? And that's because they're daily wear, which I'm a little bit annoyed about, but I am gonna use them up. And I did get three other colors, which I'm sure you guys will see over on my Instagram. I just thought I would switch things up to show you guys what different makeup looks can look like on different eyes. Before I do get on to this video, if you guys know of any other brands or websites where I can get a color similar to this, but that lasts longer than like one time use, then please let me know. I have actually ordered some Celotica lenses and they last up to a year. So I'm really excited about getting those and hopefully they match this eye color. I'm just really unsure. But now that that is out of the way, I am basically gonna be recreating this look right here, which I had so many messages and DMs and comments on my Instagram to recreate. And I did warn you guys beforehand that it's super, super, super easy to do. So this is gonna be basically like a really easy to do going out out makeup look so i wore this makeup look on a surprise book launch party that i threw for my husband and yeah i just wanted to like switch things up and put some contacts in and just kind of go all out and glam but i didn't have that much time to get ready so i'm going to show you guys exactly what i did we're going to start off with skin prep and i know i get a lot of stick for this that i use too many products on my skin but my skin handles it really 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 well and it just makes my foundation just look so 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 good on top so i'm just putting another warning out there that you guys don't have to follow every single step that I'm doing. I'm just simply showing you guys exactly what I've done. You can add more things in if you want. You can take things away. Entirely up to you. There's no rules to makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Sunday Riley Tidal Moisturizer. I really like this because it helps even out your skin tone and I've really noticed a massive difference in my skin from using it. So I'm just going to get this on my face and then blend that all away. This is a very, very, very lightweight watery moisturizer. So I am actually gonna go in with a little bit of a thicker moisturizer on top. And the one I'm using is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin E face base. I am literally scraping the bottom of this. I actually love this moisturizer all year round, but especially in the winter, it just gives my skin all that extra hydration and moisture that it really needs in the colder months. And because I love wearing a matte liquid lip, I am going to pop a little bit of the Kiehl's Butter Lip Balm onto my lips. This lip balm isn't too, too, too shiny and glossy. So it means that when we put our matte liquid lipstick on top, it's not going to make it look really glossy or anything like that. I am now going to move on to primer. For my primer, I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. This has actually got my name on it, which basically means I'm never going to be able to throw this away. And I'm just going to refill this bottle up again and again and again. When I did my makeup on the night, I actually just reapplied more makeup on top. But for my kind of like daytime natural makeup, I had about three or four pumps of this by Terry CC Serum. This is in the shade Sunny Flash. And then I had about one pump of the YSL All Hours Foundation. And this just is a really good combination for me. It gives me a little bit of coverage and just a really nice glow. But for the evening portion, I actually went in, took some more of this and added my Fenty foundation right here and I mixed in my NYX foundation as well. I just love mixing foundations for you guys who haven't tried it before. Definitely give it a go because it just ups your like whole base routine. So I'm gonna get first a few pumps of this on the back of my hand. I like to use more of this and less of the foundation. So I've got four pumps of that. I'm gonna add, oh, that was a really poor pump. So I'm gonna add one more pump of uh, the Fenty. I'm just going to add one pump of that and then I'm going to mix my little concoction up on the back of my hand and I'm just going to start putting this all over my face and blending it all away. The base I will be doing really quickly on camera because I did recently put a video up of my go-to kind of like makeup look and my base routine from that is pretty much exactly the same thing that I'm doing today. To add a teeny weeny weeny bit of more coverage to the center of my face I'm going to take one pump of my Fenty foundation and I'm just going to concentrate that on the center. Moving straight onto concealer, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Porcelain, and I'm applying that to the usual areas of my face and then blending that out with my Beauty Blender as well. And then whatever's left on the pointy part of my Beauty Blender, I am just 
covering my eyelids and this is going to act as our eyeshadow primer as well. I did add a cream contour on the night so I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This is in the shade Fair Medium and I am going to make sure it's open first <laughs> so you have to kind of like twist it open and then I like to take it on the back of my hand because I don't want to get too much onto my face but I'm just going to add it onto my cheekbones, around my hairline, a little bit on my nose, my lips and then my jawline as well. I'm going to close that up because I've had some times where it's like exploded in my makeup bag so make sure it's closed before you put it away. And then I'm just going to start blending all of that away. I like patting this into my skin whenever I use it because that way it doesn't move around the foundation underneath. And I like to really get this into my my hairline. And as I mentioned in my last tutorial, I just love the shade of this. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. And I always go over my nose contour with my beauty blender and then also all the other areas just to make sure it's nice and blended. Taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm just going to get that onto my under eyes. I don't use too much of this. I just kind of very lightly put it in all the areas that I applied the concealer and for bronzer I'm taking my Hoola by Benefit and I'm going over the contour areas. Tell a lie, I did actually use my L'Oreal bronzer. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this one instead because I find that this just blends out so much more easily. For my nose contour I'm taking my Kevin Aquan Sculpt Powder and I'm just hugging the sides of my nose with this and also like bringing it up into my like brow bone area and then my nose contour is looking quite crazy but that's why I take my beauty blender again and just make sure everything is nice and blended in and then I'm just gonna lock everything in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter I don't know whether the camera is picking it up, but you can see a few of my freckles still through my makeup. Um, but this is pretty much how it's looking. I'm just going over with my beauty blender to make sure that's <laughs> nice and dry. Sometimes I do this to like speed up the process. So for blush, I'm still using Chai, which is from Laura Mercier. So I'm taking that and putting that onto the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlight, I am taking my Oh Darling highlight from MAC. And I just love how creamy this is. And I'm going to pop this onto the high points of my cheeks. And I'm kind of like putting that into my brow bone as well. And really kind of like rubbing it in there. So you can't see where the highlight like starts and finishes. So you want it to look really nice and seamless. Doing the same thing on this side. Cheek, not eye. <laughs> and then really rubbing that into my brow bone. And then I'm also adding a little bit onto my bridge of my nose and a teeny weeny bit on my cupid's bow. And just because I'm extra, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, and I'm gonna pop that onto just the high points of my cheeks. And this is just gonna intensify the glow, and it's just gonna be in kind of like this area. But now that my base and my cheeks are all done, we're gonna move straight onto eyes. When I actually did this makeup look, I had mascara already on my eyes. So I wanted to do something really easy that was really effective um, and that still looked really glam at the same time. The star of the show is this Stila Liquid Eyeshadow, I wanna call it. It's got a really long name, yeah. So it's called the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Twig, which is such a beautiful, I'm actually gonna swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like. But it's such a stunning, almost red to brown, I wanna call it. But it just looks so nice swatch, but even better on the eyes. So I got quite a fluffy packing brush. And uh, this one is from Lily England. But what I did was I literally just went over my eyelid like this. And you actually don't even need to prime your eyelids when you're using this product, but I just did it for that extra security. And then I'm basically tapping along the edge because I want to make sure that the edge is a little bit more diffused before we put a crease shade in there. So I'm just tapping away. It's just that right amount of shimmer. It's not too like sparkly or anything but it's just such a gorgeous shade of brown. And I found that every single time I blended the edges, it did kind of take a little bit of that shimmeriness away. So we are gonna go back in a little bit later and intensify that shimmer. 
So that is one eye almost done. <laughs> this is honestly one of the most easiest glam makeup looks I've ever done. So I'm just gonna do the same exact thing onto this eye. You just wanna make sure you're getting close enough to the lash line because you don't want there to be like any empty space there. Making sure it's nice and like curved on the edge before we blend that out. And I'm just concentrating the brush on the like crease area just so that it's nice and blended. As you can see, it's got like a slight like shimmer to the eyes, but we are gonna intensify that in a little bit. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna work on my crease. So I actually took this Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession palette with me. I really like these because they're so small and they're quite light because they're made from cardboard. They're not made from plastic or anything. It also has a really nice size mirror in there, but I took a mixture of these two shades right here and I applied that into the crease. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing right now i'm just gonna work that color into the crease and these are really pigmented so you don't want to use too much because i'm going to show you what i did afterwards just to tie the whole look in together so i'm taking both those shades popping that into the crease and then to make sure that the whole look is looking really like cohesive i'm just taking that same bronzer this is the back to bronze bronzer and I'm just popping that into the crease as well so you've got a little bit of warmth coming through from the Huda Beauty palette but then this is just tying everything in together so basically the bronzer on our skin and the bronzer almost in the crease or the contour of the eye are both complementing each other and not too like far off in color so I'm just taking a little bit more and doing the same on the other eye and I'm also like pulling it out as well because I want it to have like a subtle smokiness on the outer corner as well. And this brush that I'm using is an Urban Decay Smoky Crease Brush. And they are honestly one of my favorite eye brushes to use. So now you can see there's a really nice gradient going along with all the colors. So the highlight that we put into our brow bone, the crease shade, and also the shimmery shade. But I want that shimmer to be a little bit more intense. So I'm taking a little bit more of that twig shade same on the other eye and then I'm just patting this so that it dries quicker I'm not moving the product I'm literally just patting that eyeshadow and this way I find that it remains that kind of shimmeriness to it rather than kind of blending away and believe it or not guys this was the eyeshadow that i had on on the top part of my eyes it's so like easy to do but it's just so like glamorous and once you've got your lashes on and your eyebrows on everything just looks so much more like done up before i move on to mascara i am gonna sort out my lower lash line i'm gonna take some more of that back to bronze shade and i'm actually gonna mix in the teeniest tiniest amount of this super dark matte brown. Start smoking that out on my lower lash. And I went quite heavy on this. I generally get really scared to uh, smoke out my lower lash line, but this time I kind of went all out. And then I really made sure I joined up where we smoked it out on that corner as well. So everything looks nice and neat and tidy in that area. For mascara, I'm using my False Lash Sculpt from L'Oreal Paris. We are going to put some falsies on as well, but I like having my falsies have like a real good base to stick onto. So just something like that. It doesn't need to be too crazy thick of a layer. Same thing on this eye. And then I'm also adding a real good layer of this onto my lower lashes. I'm very quickly gonna fill my brows in. I'm taking Precisely My Brow, which is from Benefit. I'm first combing through them. And then I'm just taking the spoolie end, just brushing that product through. And that is a good brow if you ask me, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing onto the other eye. To set my pesky brow hairs, I'm taking my Gimme Brow, which has been used and abused because the whole thing is like coming off um, of the front. But I'm taking this, this is in the shade number three, and I'm just going over all those brow hairs. And this is so that they don't move around and they kind of like stay in place. It's basically kind of like hairspray for your brows, colored hairspray for your brows. <laughs> I'm very quickly gonna take some of this infallible gel eyeliner from L'Oreal, I'm just gonna color in my top waterline and this just helps 
all your lashes and that whole lash band look really thick and full. And the same thing on this side. And recently I've actually just been leaving my lower lash line just how it is. I tend to not really put anything on there because I find sometimes it like closes my eyes up. So I just left that as it is. And then for lashes, I actually took my Primark lashes. So these are the Dubai lashes from Primark. They're from the gold packaging. They're five pounds and they're so glamorous. I actually had a comment on my last video, which was my November favorites that, um, these lashes looked cheap and they look horrible and they are basically not what I was saying that they was. And I'm actually gonna show you guys a before and after of both eyes so you can see for yourselves just how stunning these look. And for five pounds, this is the third time I'm using them and they're still good as new. So if I can get even just five wears out of them, like I'd be a happy girl, but these I'm sure would last me at least 10 wears. And I have a whole bunch of different styles that I picked up. I picked up Paris, London, Milan, and Dubai. I think Dubai are the most like fluffy ones that I picked up, um, but you guys will see in a second just how amazing they look. Honestly guys, I can't get over this eyeshadow look. It's so simple, but I just love the way that it turned out. And I really hope my camera's picking up exactly how amazing it looks. I will be posting some more pictures on my Instagram as well, so you guys can see exactly what it's looking like. So you guys, this is the before and this is the after on the five pound lashes from Primark. Don't they look like super fluffy and like expensive? Because <laughs> to me, these look um, look and feel really expensive. They don't feel heavy either on the eye, but they look really glamorous and lifted and big and fluffy. So I'm very quickly just gonna apply this lash off camera and I'll be right back. And this, you guys, is the eyes all complete. We're almost, almost done. So for lips, the first thing I did was I went in with this Stila Liquid Lip. And this is in the shade Caramello. It's quite a nude shade. So I'm putting this on all over. And then I went over the top of that with my number seven Tatouage Liquid Lip. And this is from YSL. And this just adds a little bit more pink back to the lips. And the next bit is totally optional, but I did take a lip liner. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, and I just cleaned up the edges very slightly. And now we're on the final step of this makeup look, and that is to set everything in place. And I'm gonna take my all-nighter and give my skin a good spray of this. And this is the final look last weekend for my husband's surprise book launch party. I was so pleased with the way that it turned out because it was my kind of go-to base routine for like a glam night out. And then to me, really the star of the show has to be the Stila liquid eyeshadow. I just feel like it's so beautiful on the eyes. It's so easy to work with and you can shove any kind of crease shade in there really. And you end up with a really beautiful eye that it looks like you've spent a lot of time on, but really it's just a crease shade and a cream eyeshadow. I do actually have a couple more shades in this and I love them all equally. The one thing that's really good about them is you don't have to use them with an eyeshadow primer as well because they last really well on the eyelids. But yeah, I just love the way that this turned out. I was wearing a really beautiful nude outfit and I found that this makeup really complemented it. You can actually wear like a really dark brown lip if you wanted to as well. I think that would look really nice with this eye look. But I went with something pinky nude because that's like my kind of go-to shade that I'm really comfortable in. And because we were at a dinner, I didn't want to constantly be worried about like my lipstick coming off so um yeah that's why I went with like a nudie pink my usual go-to but um I do really hope you guys enjoyed this video I know a lot of you wanted to see a look on it and I did pre-warn you that it's really really easy to do and uh, yeah I just think it's a really beautiful look to wear for like the festive season coming up as well you can definitely get like different colors in this and try it out with a, a different shade on your eyelid you can even um smoke like a black on the lash line if you want to give it that extra glamorous look. Even smoke up the lower lash line a little bit more, but I kept it something like medium glam for me. Uh, but yeah, I just hope you guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial. I loved filming it and I loved obviously wearing it over the weekend as well. But as always, I will leave a full list of products that I've used in this video in the info box below. So please don't forget to check that out. I think that is all from me. I'm pretty sure I'm not forgetting anything. If I am, it will be in the description box. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and all of that. I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye!